Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts and thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm excited to share with you some updates that we're doing with Ron Stutz's flutes, Native Sunrise flutes. For the last few years we've carried Ron's flutes and they've gone exceptionally well. And the feedback from this is uh, we've gotten some emails. I'd love to have this wood instead of that wood or this on this and this. And so options are important and that's what I'm here today to talk to you about is options. So we've expanded the options in which we offer these flutes and we're putting the power uh, of decision in your hands. And so when you go to select a flute, and I'm going to play some of these for you to give you a sound, uh, an example of the sound, um, we're offering these in two different styles. We'll start there first. The style is the canyon flute. So the canyon flute has the petroglyphs on it and it has the uh, kind of the broken or burned end here. The woodland flute features the wood bark texture around the, um, around the fetish and the foot of the flute. So this is the woodland flute. We've limited the wood choices just because some of these woods are um, hard to find or they're expensive to get. And so Ron has um, agreed to make these flutes out of Spanish cedar, which is a lighter weight and color wood, uh, and sapelli, which is a lot like a mahogany. So it's a little bit heavier and a little bit darker in color. So you get to pick your wood, you get to pick the key. We're gonna offer these from uh, the key of B4, so that's at the top of the four octave range, all the way down to C4. So the entire range, so all the sharps and flats in between, a total of 12 different keys that you can choose from. So we've got body style, wood choice, key choice, then we get down to fetish choice or totem. So we've got the deer antler here, and all of these are, there are pictures of these on our website too. So the antler, the wood, animal kingdom, and eagle head. Okay, so you can get, um, you can choose any one of those totems as well. So the other choice that you get is the frequency in the uh, flute as well. So if you want a 440 hertz, which is uh, more of a concert tuning, or if you prefer a 432 hertz, uh, which some of you know as like earth tone uh, flutes or um, more of that healing frequency, we're gonna offer that as well. On the flutes that are in the key, hold on, I have a handful of flutes here. It's hard to navigate. On the flutes that are the key of E and lower, we're going to offer ergonomic hole placement. And this is important for you because some people like them straight in line. So this is an E flute that has straight playing holes on it, all in a line. This is a D flute and it has ergonomic holes made for a right-handed player. Meaning the right hand plays on bottom so the holes kind of curve off to the right. If you were left-handed, meaning you play left hand on bottom, that right hand ergonomics is not going to work for you, but we'll offer that in a left hand ergonomic as well. So those are the majority. Oh, one other option is the mouthpiece style. We're going to offer, um, so any of these options, you get to basically create and customize your own flute. So we have a rounded mouthpiece a little more rounded and blunt or we have a tapered uh, where it's a little bit more of a slender or a slendering uh, approach to the mouthpiece so that's a preference you may like one over the other and we're going to extend that option to you as well so let me go through and play some of these for you and i'll tell you what options are included on this this is a 440 b flat uh, four flute. It's made of sapelli. This is the canyon style. So the burnt end, the petroglyphs on the flute. And this has the animal kingdom totem on it. I'm going to throw a little reverb on and I'll play a little music for you.
next we're going to go to uh, this is a woodland flute made out of sapelli it has the deer antler totem on it rounded mouthpiece it's in 440 the key is g sharp Next, we're going to go to that key of E. This is another canyon style made in Spanish cedar. So we've got the petroglyphs here. We've got the burnt end uh, here on the flute. Um, Spanish cedar. We've got the tapered mouthpiece. This is the key of E, 440 hertz. Um, I didn't get any of these in 440, or I'm sorry, I didn't get any of these in 432, uh, but they are available in 432. And it features some of this, uh, one of these wood look, uh, these found wood look totems on it. Here we go. Here's the key of E. but certainly not least, we get to the key of D. This is a woodland look, so it's got the bark uh, theme on it. Some painted bands here, or dyed bands rather. Um, this one is ergonomically uh, placed for a right-handed player, which I am. It's got an eagle totem here on it, uh, and it has the tapered mouthpiece. So let's hear how this one sounds. As always, wonderful and beautiful flutes from Ron Stutz, Native Sunrise Flutes. If you're interested in these, please visit us online at horizonsflutestore.com and you can custom order any one of these with any one of the features that you see here. They're kind of mixed match. You can choose what you like and it really puts the power of decision in your hands rather than us making a certain type of flute. So for all the details, horizonsflutestore.com, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments below or reach out to us through our website via email, horizonsflutestore.com. Friends, thanks so much for visiting with me in this video. I hope you're doing well and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Take care.